Field can never play for the Cleveland Browns again. There's no way. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video, and this is just all kinds of awkward, all kinds of weird. And for two out of the four teams that are going through this whole Deshaun Watson chase right now, it was gonna be like this. Now, the only ones who it won't be like this for are the Saints um, and the Panthers. Because they don't have their QB situation worked out. But as far as for the Falcons and the Browns, it's super weird. But more so, in my opinion, for the Browns than the Falcons. Because the Falcons, they've been through it with Matt Ryan for a lot longer than the Browns have been through it with Baker Mayfield for. They even have paid Matt Ryan. So he's already earned his second contract, but things haven't quite worked out. But for the Browns... Baker Mayfield, coming off of a season where he was playing for you injured. He was playing for you injured. And you commended him so much for, oh, man, Baker Mayfield, he's tough. Oh, man, Baker Mayfield. This is why NFL, it is such a nasty business. It's a business. And a lot of people seem to forget that it is a business. Anyway, says... Uh, the team still views Baker Mayfield as their quarterback going forward. They told Mayfield's agents at the Combine they'd only explore top-tier QBs such as Deshaun Watson. So, it's, this whole thing is just it's, it's weird. It's weird. Um, and it's put Baker Mayfield and the Browns in such a weird spot. Like, how do you come back to that? Like... They obviously went hard for Deshaun Watson. They tried to get him. They Not only were they interested, because it'd be one thing if we heard rumors like, oh, the Browns are interested in Deshaun Watson. Okay. Uh, interest is one thing, but action is another. They flew out to Houston. The other teams did as well, but the Browns, they flew out to Houston to meet with Deshaun Watson and try to persuade him to waive his no-trade clause for them so they could acquire him so he could go to the Cleveland Browns and be their quarterback. All the meanwhile, you got this other guy going into the fifth-year option that you picked up, by the way. You did pick up his fifth-year option. You got him sitting there like, oh, man, they, they don't want me? They, after all I did for them, they don't want me? After all the, the history we broke, they don't want me? We, ain't been to the, we hadn't been to the playoffs in forever. And they, we, we hadn't had a winning season in forever. And, uh, we hadn't won a playoff game in forever. And, uh, that's what it is. There's no recovery for that. None. Well, there's one. The only way that the Browns and Baker Mayfield could recover from this would be with a new contract. But you know that's not happening. They've That's what makes it even worse. They've already come out and said they are not working on a deal for Baker Mayfield this offseason. So they already came out and said that. Now, things could, of course, change. But there's no coming back from this, man. There's no coming back. So many people have compared this situation to so many different things. But in my opinion, it's like Baker Mayfield. He was this college graduate that's looking for a job. And there were 32 companies that were hiring. But one of those companies... They went through all these different possible candidates for the job. They went through all these different applicants, all these different graduates from college. But they chose him. They chose Baker Mayfield f to hire. And they chose him first and foremost before they selected anybody else the year that they hired him. And they were like, hey, you are a guy. It's you. You're, you're, you're the one. And he came in. And he showed a lot of promise. Showed a lot of promise in his first year on the job. Sophomore season, showed some more promise. Got a little shaky here and there, but he still showed some more promise. Third year, oh man, he showed a whole lot of promise. And it was like, okay, let's go. But then the fourth year, he got hurt and things didn't look so good. And it was rough. But you all still, you, you broke history together. You, you, you change the culture of your company together. And it's like the same reason that you loved them, 
you put out a report that that's the same reason why you hate him. Because that report came out yesterday talking about how Baker Mayfield and his, his energy and his passion is just not a good match for the Browns anymore. And, it was like, and then they even called him uh, childish, said he wasn't mature. And I was thinking, hmm. And, and, and it's also said they, they want an adult at quarterback. It's like, oh, okay. That's interesting. And I, I think, because timing is everything. That report came out yesterday when the Browns were still in the runnings for Deshaun Watson. Um, but with, I, I think with that, that I think they thought that they, they had a better chance, a better shot at getting Deshaun Watson at that time. That's why they let that report leak. Because teams will leak reports to get different things accomplished. But now today, when we find out that they're out of the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes, all of a sudden this comes out. Oh, the Browns, the, they still view Baker Mayfield as their quarterback going forward. Nah, uh, there's no way. No way. And they told Mayfield's agents at the Combine they'd only explore top-tier QBs such as Watson. So the Browns, they told Baker Mayfield's people, like, hey, we love you. We, you're, you're our guy. Now, don't, don't get offended now. We're going to look at Deshaun Watson, but please don't take any offense to it. But, hey, hey, get, he'll be the only top-tier quarterback that we look at. But or if we look for somebody to replace you, it's only going to be a top guy. But don't get offended. Don't get upset. Please, Baker, don't get upset. You don't have no reason to get upset. We told you. It's at a point of no return. There's no way that Baker Mayfield ever plays for the Cleveland Browns ever again. And I don't blame him. <laughs> I would not blame him. At all. He got to go. They, this relationship is not one that can, it, can, it cannot continue. Um, Deshaun Watson, is he an upgrade over Baker Mayfield? Yeah, he is. He, he certainly is. Um, but still, man. And, and we, like I said earlier, we know the NFL, it is a business. It is certainly a business. But these people in business, they still have feelings. You, you don't go to your job every single day and you don't go there completely removed from it with, with no feelings and no attachments to it. That comes with the job. Say, for instance, if it happened to you, say, for instance, you have been working at a job. Put yourself in Mr. Mayfield's shoes. You've been working at a job for four years. And in those four years, the company saw some highs that they hadn't seen in forever, forever with you. The person that they hired. And even if that company told you, hey, you are your contractor, but we, we hired you and we're going to hire you for a fifth year too. It's already locked in. You got it. It's guaranteed. Straight. And then they were like, you know what? Mm, you were going through some things in your personal life, but you still showed up to work and yeah, some days were better than others, but you still showed up to work. You came through for us. But we're going to look for somebody else to take your spot. Because we just feel like, yeah, we, we could do better. We can do better. That, that, would, that would hurt you. That would kill you inside. To know, that, to know that you gave everything to this company. And there were times when you, you could have called off work. There were times when Baker Mayfield could have just sat out. But he did still decided, you know what, I'm going to play. I'm going to play through it. You in your company, you decided, you know what, I, I could call off. I could take some vacation time. I could take some PTO, some personal time off. But you know what? No, nope, I'm going to show up to work. I'm going to come through because I'm really trying to put on for this company. I'm really trying to make something happen with this company. I'm really trying to show them, like, I can get this thing done. And then they go, oh, you know what? Well, yeah, we've been looking for somebody else to take your spot. But if we have somebody take your spot. It's only going to be somebody that's really, really, really good at the job that you do. But if it doesn't work out with them, then, hey, you'll still be our guy. You can't tell me that you wouldn't be hurt from that. You can't tell me that. So, yeah, Baker Mayfield, ain't no way he's playing for Cleveland ever again.